What is going on YouTube? Welcome back to another video. So today I've got something a little bit different for you. It's going to be a FIFA 23 cover. Now I know a few of you might be saying that you know there's not going to be a FIFA 23. Either way it's a nice concept. Uh, it's a nice little design for you to make and something to learn. You know it's a game cover so it's a bit of fun really. Uh, and I had a lot of requests saying like how to make it, you know where to get the assets and stuff. So I've put them all into a folder for you. You know you can download it but in the link down below uh, and you'll have all the assets that I'm going to be using today to make it and then I'm just going to show you quickly how I put it together and uh, then you'll be you know you'll be good enough to work for FIFA basically so that's the plan uh, thank you for all the recent support on the videos you guys have been smashing it uh, really appreciate it and yeah let's get straight into the video So guys, starting off, you'll get your uh, your texture pack, which is in the link down below. And what I recommend doing is obviously downloading it for a start. Um, but what I recommend doing is getting your image, and then we're going to put that in the in the design first. So if you double click on your image here, I can show you that I've done a little bit of skin editing. Uh, I'm not going to show you too much of that because I've got links down below for different skin retouching videos if you need to learn that. But obviously, neural filters, camera filter, and then um, a levels and a selective color just to change the skin tone a little bit. So you don't need to worry about doing anything for that right now so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to create a new document and this one is going to be 2160 by 2700 so that's going to be a larger size for Instagram and it just means you can get more in the image uh, and it's just a little bit better really to be honest so we'll create that and now we're going to drop our image in so the image is perfectly sized for this so you don't need to worry about that so at the top here is where we're going to obviously have the ps5 banner so we don't need to worry about that too much we just want to position the image center focused in the design so now it's there, I'm going to go back to my texture pack and I'm going to get another bit of um, design tool that I need. So in here there's a PS5 banner, now you won't be able to see it because it's on a white background but it is there, it's PS5 logo. So we're going to drag this across first, this is where I started on my design. So what we're going to do, I'm just going to leave that there for now just so I can see it. But what we're going to do is we're going to make a rectangle along the top. So if you look at a PS5 case, you'll know there's obviously the blue banner along the top. Some of them have white banners I think now. Um, I haven't had a PS5 in so long so I wouldn't even know but yeah they have the blue gradient banner along the top so you're going to make a rectangle tool using your rectangle and then once you've made that don't worry about the color because we're going to double click on this and we're going to go to gradient overlay and we're going to add this blue gradient overlay so you can just keep your opacity at 100 the gradient is going to be 20 uh, 25 31 ad for the dark blue and then it's going to be 2c 7c e0 for the light blue so this is a nice gradual gradient it goes along the uh, top of here and you know it, it's just going to fit in quite nicely so what i'm going to do now is i'm just going to move this image down a little bit just because i want to make this banner a little bit bigger because i feel like it's not big enough at the moment so that's probably big enough and now we're just going to move our logo into place so we're going to move it above there and make sure it's center aligned obviously through the middle of this actual um uh, banner because you know it needs to look professional so we're going to leave it like that and then what we're going to do we're going to zoom in a little bit more get our rectangle tool again and this time you want to select a white color so select white and you're just going to draw quite a thin thin banner along the bottom here so about that um, I'd say that's good. You might even want to make that a little bit thinner. So I'm just going to zoom in. Just make it a little bit thinner. Something like that. Now if I zoom out, yeah, that's nice. So it adds a nice little banner um, uh, just below our PS5 banner. So yeah, too many banners. What the hell am I on about? So we've got your PS5 banner at the top. That's that's done fine. So you got that good. Um, the next thing I'm going to do is add in the free rated R logo. So I've got all these textures here for you guys, so you don't really need to worry about them really. Um, this is just going to sort of show you how I put it together. So we've got our free rated R logo. It's going to go down the bottom right somewhere. So I've got it aligned with the PS5 logo down there, and that's good. So we've got that done. So now we're pretty much on the way to getting our FIFA cover done. So we need to get the logo now. So I've got this FIFA uh, logo lower, so it's got it all in here for you. So you don't really need to do anything for this. Um, you can just drop it into your design. But I will show you if you want the font, because you might need the font, if you double click on the uh, smart object, the font is Flama. So this is Flama bold italic. I will try find the uh, the font I like, you know, um, and chuck it into uh, a link down below. But if it's not there, you might just have to go and find it yourself. But it's quite easy to find. Um, but this is usually the standard one that FIFA use for their design. So this is the one you probably want. So yeah, Flama, um, I'll probably have a link down below, but if not, you have to find it yourself. So we've got that, we've got FIFA 23, um, we've got the FIFA official licensed product, and then we've got the eSports logo, EA Sports logo. So that's all that done. I'm just gonna drag this across now. So it's, it's pretty much on the lower half of the design. 
Um, make sure it's in the center, like so, and not obviously affecting their face or anything because that would just look a little bit odd. But make sure it's on the lower half. And what I've done is I've added a drop shadow to this. So it's only a slight drop shadow, 40%, but this just gives it enough so that it actually stands out from the background once we add the camera or filter at the end. So that's why I've done that. Next thing we're gonna do is, well, we've basically, we've basically got our game cover done. So I know this is quite a short video. I didn't wanna keep it, you know, rambling on, but that's the, uh, that's the game cover, like all the assets that you need for it. So you've got all those. Now we're just going to do a little bit of uh, video editing, well not video editing, editing on the uh, skin. So what I'm going to do first is I'm going to cut these out. So it's going to be a rough cut, so we're going to get quick selection tool, select the subject, and yeah, that looks like a good selection. Select a mass, let's just quickly go in here and have a look. That's pretty good, to be honest. It, it's not going to matter too much because the background is still going to be there. Once I do whatever I'm going to do. So yeah, I'm going to, I'm going to leave that like that. I think that's fine, to be honest. Hair's cut out pretty well. Might even want to just fill that in a little bit, just so Trent has some hair back. Um, so let's just fill that bit in there. Okay, that's good. Right, so we're just going to shift the edge a little bit, and then we're just going to go Command J once we come out of this quick selection. So now we've got two. So if I turn this off, you know, you've got them there, like that. So now what we're going to do is we are going to increase the highlights on their skin. So what you're going to do is you're going to hold Command, and then you're just going to click on this, uh, on the, um, you know, the thumbnail, and then it's going to select the whole thing. Now this is a technique I've shown in my skin retouch video, so I'm just going to run for it quite quickly here, but if you want a more in-depth view on it, just go into the uh, tutorial below. So we're going to go up to select color range, and we are going to select highlights. So highlights, you want to get it to probably about 200, and then the fuzziness up to about 35 is usually good. And now, as you can see, if I click OK, it's picked up all these highlights on their skin. So over here, over here. Um, and it's just really done that a good job of that. So we're going to select brightness and contrast now. So now that we've selected that, we can boost the brightness up. So this is going to boost the skin tones up and then we're going to boost the contrast up. Uh, and as you can see, it just intensifies them a little bit more. But it does look a little bit odd. So what you need to do is you need to go into the layer mask over here and feather this to about 8.9. Then we can turn this on and off and it just adds that nice little dynamic effect. So we're going to do the same again, select them. Uh, and then we're going to go to color range and then we're gonna to go to shadows and bring this up to about 90, fuzziness to about 30. And then it's gonna pick up all the shadows instead of the highlights. And we're gonna do the same process again, brightness contrast, juice that down a little bit, contrast up a little bit, and then same again with the feather. So feather it off, just makes it look a little bit more dynamic and a little bit cooler to be honest. So we've got all that done. Uh, the next job is to do the eyes, so I'm going to quickly do that because you know I've shown that in many videos before. So just quick curves, paint on Trent's eye. I think Trent's the only one with an eye. Well, you can see that one, but you can't really see it. So this is the only one you're really going to notice um, when you're actually looking at the design. So we're going to do that one. Hue and saturation. Juice that down to 100, then duplicate that. Okay. Nice. So that's all done, guys. Now we're going to do is we're going to add a camera or filter and we should be done. So just to clarify, you've got your image, you know, this is usually what I do to make the uh, the image look better. Obviously, I do recommend selecting it and adding some of these effects because when you do add them, it's just going to make that bit of the design look better. And also, if you've got a background, you can tweak around with that as well. But on this design, I don't really have a background. It's just sort of a black image. So that's what we're working with today. We've got your PS5 banner here. So you will have made that. I've shown you how to make that. It's very simple. Uh, the free rated logo is just there and then the FIFA logo again you'll probably need the font but you know you've got it now so you should be able to have a little bit of fun with that so we've got all this together now so I'm going to make a smart object so can command option shift E to make a smart uh, screenshot and then convert that to a smart object and we're going to apply a camera filter to that let's go to the camera filter so what I really wanted to do here was probably boost it up a little bit but also make keep some of these like shadows in here so I'm probably going to boost the contrast up to about 15 Highlights, you definitely want to boost those up because we've already boosted them up and it's just going to make them look even better. Uh, and shadows, I don't, you can bring the, I did bring these up a little bit. So you can bring these up probably to about 30. And then by doing that, you can see a lot more of the hair, you know, a lot more of these effects. It just looks a lot, lot better because it gives you um, some more, some more image instead of just it all being black. So definitely, uh, recommend increasing the shadows. Clarity, so clarity, I usually bring this up to about 15 just because I, it, it's good, but you don't want to overdo it because it sort of blows the image out a little bit. 
and then texture I'm gonna bring that up to about 25 so that's looking good already so we've got a little bit of dehaze as well probably plus five so that's looking good so we've got a lot of texture in there you know it's looking very crisp so what we're gonna do now is I'm gonna boost saturation make it a little bit warmer like probably about 10 yet yeah. vibrance maybe about five and then go into curves so curves I usually just do like a simple s curve like that and that's good and then detail probably usually put that to 30 and then 20 noise reduction maybe not 20 maybe 15 because we want to keep some of that texture maybe even 10 actually yeah probably about 10 that's good and now this is where we're going to sort of tweak some of the colors so we've got this quite dark blue here so i would usually change this and uh I would usually have this affect the top banner as well because I think, you know, if you make it a little bit brighter, it's just going to be not a lot nicer to look at. So that's usually what I do here. So I'm just going to tweak that a little bit. And then same again with the reds. Um, I will usually just give them like a minus 10 for the Liverpool kit at the moment because it's a little bit of a funny colour and I'm not too much of a fan of it, to be honest. Uh, so usually that's what I do. And then for the mid-tones, you probably can just sort of leave this alone, to be honest, because... There's not really, they, they, you've got two different co contrasting images here, so you don't really need to add color grading because they've both got their own sort of skin tones and colors. So if you add a red one, it's going to affect the blue. If you add a blue one, it's going to affect the red, you know what I mean? So keep it simple, don't overdo it. So, wow, depending on what image you obviously use, if you use this image, don't overdo it. So yeah, no color grading for this one. Then we're going to go down to effects, grain, put this up to about 30, and then maybe a 10 vignette. And that's looking good. So. Uh, we can boost the reds up a little bit, boost the blues up a little bit. Okay, that's nice. And click OK. Look how much that's changed it. That's ridiculous. It's made it so much better. But yeah, guys, that is um, that is how I created this FIFA cover. So basically, it's very simple. You know, you just drop your logos in, and then you get an image you like. Obviously, tweak the image so it looks good. Um, and use a bit of camera or filter and everything but that's all you need to do really so um yeah i hope you have enjoyed this video I hope you have learned something i know it's a shorter one but you know this is a shorter tutorial and it's only a bit of fun really so if i see any comments down below saying that you know um there's not going to be a fifa 23 or whatever you know i've had it already i don't really care it's just a bit of fun and you know if there isn't gonna be a fifa 23 so what you know just put fifa if you want um or i think it's fifa fc i think that's what's going to be the new one so have a bit of fun with it guys you know learn something and yeah thank you so much for watching i'll see you next time